Hey, today we'll be talking about how to reinvent yourself after a later in life layoff on the journey. So with so much competition going on, there's been other companies that have definitely laid off people. You had IBM laying off 20,000 between the ages of 40 and 60. Wow. You even had AT&T that laid off 4,000. And in Ohio alone, GM laid off 1,500. Layoffs are hard at any age. No one likes losing their job, trust me. But it is especially hard for those 45 and older because the period to get back into the workforce is longer. So we're gonna talk about tips that that group can do to successfully get back in the workforce. Make a game plan. You wanna make sure that you're very strategic in what you're gonna be doing and spending your time well. And we know the age old saying, it's not what you know or even who you know, but it's who knows you. Get back out there and network and connect with people so they know who you are. Mm -hmm. So when you get that recommendation, they can adequately speak to your skills, who you are as a person, so that the potential company can see the value in bringing you on. Yeah, things are gonna fall in your lap. You have to make a plan, whether it's any of your goals. If you want to wake up earlier, you want to lose weight, whatever, when you write it down and you have a plan and a strategy, you're gonna achieve it. So that is first step number one. A great thing is this also is an opportunity to brushen up on your skills. I mean, you probably, if you had a nice cushy job and you've been there a long time, you probably haven't dusted off your resume. So this gives you a chance to, you know, work your magic on your resume, work on your public speaking, mm -hmm. maybe your interview skills, things that maybe you didn't necessarily need in your job, but you will need in finding a new job. It gives you that chance. And with so many free online courses like EDX, you can always brush up on additional skills mm -hmm. that will make you more competitive mm -hmm. in today's job market. And the next thing you could do is seek some part-time work. Mm -hmm. Having some income is better than having none at all. You realize that some of these gigs, they're easy to get and they're flexible, so it allows you more time to brush up on those skills that we mentioned, but also continue to search for that next full-time career. And it's also good for your self-esteem. You're gonna have a purpose every day or every other day, whatever your schedule is, but it gives you something to do, and then the other time you can spend finding that job. And make sure that you connect with recruiters. Social media has so many groups specifically geared towards this. You can connect with them because they can be your major conduits to get in that next role, but even though sometimes part-time roles. Yeah, LinkedIn is one of the best places to go because recruiters are on there, they're searching for people, they want prospective candidates to reach out to them so they can fill their different roles. So go there, start there, type in the industry that you're interested in or perhaps the company, find a recruiter. Trust me, their profiles are public for a reason. Use it, contact them. During this period, your income is going to be gone. You might have a period of severance or you might not have anything and you might have your side hustle or your side job, but your income is not going to be what it was. So you need to cut expenses. The best way to do this, if you're not already, is to get a budget. Mm -hmm. There's apps like Every Dollar that will do that for you. But take a look at your budget, put everything out that you have like in previous months and then see what are the frivolous things that you cannot afford right now. Maybe those biweekly massages, maybe that gym memberships that you never maybe use. Maybe that $8 cup of coffee. Coffee. Take a look at everything, cut out the fat. Don't worry, when you get your job back, you can add those things back in, but the time is not right now. It's temporary. Just remember that. It's the end goal that keeps you focused and will make sure that you just stick to this. It's not gonna be forever. You can see this as an opportunity to start your own business. This could have been the push you needed to just jump out there and do what you love doing. Yeah, if you had an idea this whole time when you were working like, oh, I'd love to do this or I wanna start by this company, but you never could, just use it as an opportunity to do that. So start that business, take on consulting clients, whatever it is, become an entrepreneur. There are so many people that are taking the step into entrepreneurship every day. So maybe take this as a time to see if that's for you. And with such a low overhead, you can start it at home. You don't have to think about it being a brick and mortar. So many people have just started it out of the comfort of their own garage, amazon.com for one. So here's something interesting for you. 20 years from now, the majority of the jobs that exist today won't exist anymore. The job market is changing. So the gig economy and this entrepreneurial lifestyle, this is the new way in the future. So why don't you just hop on board? So today we just talked about how to reinvent yourself after a later in life layoff. We would love to hear from you in the comments below. What did you do in order to get back on your feet? And of course, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of our latest videos. And until next time, this is The Journey.